Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So, no, this video isn't sad. I know by the title it sounds like it's gonna be a very sad video. I'm sure it confused you quite a bit. You're like, what do you mean breakup letter? What is this? No, my boyfriend and I aren't breaking up. Don't worry. All is good with us. I actually was looking through some things and cleaning my room the other day when I found an old breakup letter that one of my boyfriends gave me in grade 7. It's actually quite humorous to look back at now. I'm just in kind of a disbelief that I found this because I don't know why I kept it. Why would you keep a breakup letter, Jess? I have like nine keepsake boxes that I've been putting stuff in since I was like two. So I guess I just thought that this would be valuable to me in the future. I mean, in a way it is because I can make a video about it now, so thank you, little Jess. But it's still strange. <laughs> so I'm gonna read it to you guys because I think you will get a kick out of it. Look at his lovely handwriting. His grade seven handwriting. <laughs> it's double sided but um, it's mostly on this page and then there's like some on the back. But I kind of want to give you some background info first before I start reading you this letter. My boyfriend's name was Steve. W well, we'll just call him that. His real name wasn't Steve, but it was close. It was very close to that. We were both super shy, so our relationship in grade 7 was very awkward. And I don't, e I don't even know if you'd call it a real relationship. You know when you're in grade 7 or 6, you just call someone your boyfriend or girlfriend, but you don't really do anything? <laughs> we only ever held hands. We never hugged. We never kissed. We never like told each other cute little secrets. We never said I love you. We never really messaged each other when we were home. It was like a friendship relationship. But we still called each other girlfriend and boyfriend. He had braces. I had braces. He wore glasses. I wore glasses. He loved knit sweaters. I love knit sweaters. Nerds unite. I definitely thought he was a cutie, but I don't really think we ever completely liked each other. Like, I think we had a little crush. I just think that everyone was getting their first boyfriend in grade six and seven and I was jealous and I was like I want one give me one so Steve and I found each other and we were like let's just be boyfriend and girlfriend let's just call it that and I think maybe one day he just got bored of me you know what I mean <laughs> so he left this note inside my locker he just kind of slipped it through one of the cracks I found it on my lunch break I actually had two of my friends with me because we were about to go outside to play at recess so um, it was kind of embarrassing because like my two friends read it with me Ugh, I don't know it was weird so let me just get into it and read what he left. Time to embarrass myself. Actually, it's pretty funny. I don't even care about it, really. All right. Dear Jess, I just wanted to let you know that you were tons of fun. Notice how he said were. It is past tense. I was fun to him. No longer. No longer. I wasn't fun anymore, I guess. My sister really liked you, and so did my mom. What about his dad and his brother? Because he had a dad and his brother, so I guess they didn't like me. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that I think we would be better as friends. Everything would be the same except I wouldn't meet you at your locker before recess. <laughs> oh my gosh it was so funny because like every time the lunch bell rang and it was recess like he would always be at my locker when I came out of class. It was kind of cute that way. But I guess he did not want to do that anymore. My friends say I don't hang with them anymore so I will be with them. If you want to hang too you can. So I think I know what this is about now. I think his friends were mad because he was spending time with me. Maybe they pressured him to write this. Or maybe I really just was rejected. I hope this is okay with you. You can write me back if you want. My locker number is 126. See you later. <laughs> Ouch! My heart hurts when I read this. Poor little Jess. Honestly, I was probably sad for like two hours and then I was fine, so don't worry. It was cool. And I love how like he wants us to write back and forth between lockers. Like why couldn't we just talk in person? We had the same classes. We were around each other all the time. But no, we're using lockers as modes of communication. I guess we were just so shy that like we were just too intimidated to talk about it face to face. I don't know. I think I always knew deep down inside that we were just meant to be friends anyway. But the funny thing is though, after he wrote this note to me, we never like hung out or spoke again. Like it was just this awkward thing after that. And I haven't seen him since I graduated grade 8. I remember a couple years ago I tried to creep him on Facebook, but I couldn't find him. He's like off the face of the earth. I don't know. But yeah, I haven't received any breakup letters since then. It's always been like in person. And uh, I have received love letters, which I've kept as well. I keep everything. 
thing, apparently. Uh, but love letters are much nicer than breakup letters. But anyways, I thought I'd just read this to you guys because, um, I don't know, I like sharing stuff with you. You guys are my friends, you're my family, so whenever I find something interesting or I have a story happen in my life, I just instantly go to my camera and I'm like, I have to tell them. I have to tell my V-team. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you found it cute or amusing. Should I keep this? I don't know. I think I will. I think I just will, you know what I mean? I'm a hoarder. I don't know. Anyways, my social media information is below along with my vlog channel and my PO box information, so check that out. I also have my merch available, so I will put that in the description below as well. Check that out, guys, and until next time, bye!